All right, first thing we want to do is create our construction lines. And so that's an XL. And then it should line up with this and this. So we have one here and one here. We don't need to do the 45 degree angle one because this is complete. And then we can copy this. So control click, get our points there. And then copy this here. So those are our construction lines. And then we can move these to the front. So now we're good. All right, so what's going on right here? Here we have a center line. And here we have a center line. So there's got to be something circular lined up here and uh, probably top, top. So that works out. Something circular there and there. And then on the bottom, we have a hole. And this hole goes all the way through. So the lower part has to go all the way through. So we can copy this. Oops, forgot to grab this line here. So that hole has to go all the way through. So the hole lines up right there. So therefore, the bottom has to go all the way through. So the bottom goes all the way across. And then this is a visible line. And this is another visible line. So there's got to be something here and then something off in the distance beyond there. Uh, and so the top of the circle lines up with the top here. And so, and then we have something hidden down here. So somehow we have to end up down at the bottom right there as well. So we could have something like tangent off this, or we can just go straight down and flat. But there's a surface here. So this edge has to be here, which is this edge. Uh, and so we should be going straight down right there. So we have a line from here all the way to the bottom. And from here, this is a hidden line. So this basically this area here has to be a flat surface. And then go back up again here. And we want to go all the way up to the top. So that's going to be your basic outer contour. And then the bottom part of the circle we don't need anymore. So we can trim, select all, and oops, I deleted part of my construction line as well. So this is going to be round. And because it's round, we're going to need a center mark. So down here do a center mark and it's on that surface right there. And then what's going on here? We have a slanted surface here and a slanted surface here that's hidden. And so basically what this is is just a cut off corner uh, and it's hidden here and slanted here so we can just draw a line. Oops. So this will be a visible line and it's from here and then it goes down to there. So this is similar to the cutoff corners we had before uh, but it's in the front so we'll see it in the front. And so I believe this is it. So we have this top line is this. The center mark goes for this circle. So this circle goes here. This is a flat surface right there. There's not a hidden line. So we have to have a sharp edge here, so we have to go down. Uh, this has to be a half circle. If this was just a fillet, we wouldn't need the center mark because it would be adjusted by the tangent geometry. Uh, so we could have a rounded arc sort of back as well. Uh, you could have this go straight up and then around here and like that. Uh, but then the hidden line would overroll this visible line. So I think this is the only geometry we can do to make our solution.